गुड आफ्टरनून डि स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर जी बी शेंडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बारामती टुडे इज अवर प्रैक्टिकल ऑन स्टडी ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड इन्सेक्ट पास्ट एंड डिसीज मैनेजमेंट इन सोयाबीन दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज नंबर फिफ्टीन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज आर टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट पास्ट एंड डिसीजेस ऑफ सोयाबीन and to know the integrated methods of pest and disease management for soybean crop first did the what is meant by ipm and idm ipm means integrated pest management idm means integrated disease management is the application of all suitable methods all suitable methods are cultural method biological method chemical method and mechanical methods for controlling or for reducing the pest population the main objective to keep the pest or disease incidence below the economic threshold level that is called as ipm or idm integrated pest management or integrated disease management program implies all the available pest or disease management approaches including cultural biological and chemical control with the main objective to keep the pest and disease incidence below the economic threshold level that is called as integrated pest management or integrated disease management the important pests and diseases of soybeans are first is the important pests of soybean are first there is hairy caterpillar stem giddler stem borer and white fly these are the important pests which are mostly observed on the soybean crop and important diseases are bacterial fistula elomosa anthracnose these are called as pod blight seed and seedling rot and rust these are the important diseases of soybean crop okay then see the nature of damage and control measure of this pest and diseases first pest uh, that is stem borer okay nature of damage of this pest is this insect attack at two leaf stage of the crop when the crop at two leaf stage or at seedling stage that stage this insect attack on the crop and the damaged the seedling at this stage fail to regenerate this is the serious pest of soybean crop this insect attack at early stage or seedling stage of the crop and damaged the seedling at this stage fail to regenerate adult of this insects which feed on the leaves by making multiple punctures which appears as a white spot on the leaves also it bore the stem and feed the inner content this is the nature of damage of the stem borer okay then next pest that is stem girdler uh, this insect girdler the stem below the growing apex in this pest it forms the or which affect the girdler of stem the stem below the growing apex which result in wilting and drying of the stem the part above the girdler above the girdler region or part the above portions are dried or wilt okay it gives an appearance of clipping of the growing point this is the nature of damage of stem girdler pest the next pest that is white fly okay nature of damage of this pest it is an important vector of yellow mosaic disease yellow mosaic disease is caused by the insect the name of that insect is white fly due to the white fly this disease is transferred from one plant to the another plant okay due to the white fly yellow mosaic disease is caused in soybean uh, it, this pest suck the cell sap from the leaves and have reduced the pore formation and yield this pest suck the cell sap from the leaves and from the stem and due to that uh, the uh, flowering or pore formation is reduced and due to the reducing the flowers or pods ultimately the yield is reduced okay this is the nature of damage of white fly pest then hairy caterpillar this insect is usually found in branches 
or or on the leaves of the plant they feed on leaves and holes are observed on the leaves this pest feed on the leaves and it forms the uh, holes on the upper surface of the leaves in heavy attack may holes are observed due to which photosynthetically activity is reduced and that affect the low pore formation and yield due to the formation of holes the photosynthetically activity of the plant is reduced and due to that uh, the uh, pore formation is reduced ultimately the yield of crop is uh, reduced okay this is the nature of damage of the hairy caterpillar this is the hairy caterpillar and this pest uh, feed other leaves which makes holes on the upper or lower surface of the leaves okay this is the nature of damage of the hairy caterpillar okay then control measure summer deep plowing after harvesting of previous crop the uh, summer deep plowing is followed due to that the eggs or larvae of the pest which is exposed to the sun or which also catch by the birds so it can be controlled then plowing immediately after harvesting after harvesting of, uh, of previous crop uh, the land is plowed then proper crop rotation with cereal crops due to the or monocropping due to the monocropping the infestation or population of pest and diseases is increased and due to the crop rotation the infestation of pest is reduced okay crop rotation with cereal crops the infestation of the pest is reduced then collect eggs and larva of the insect and put them in kerosene for effective control for effective control of the pest the larva or eggs of the insects are collected and dip into the kerosene then spraying of bio pesticides like slnpv means podoptera lutra nuclear polyhedrus virus on the crop then spraying of insecticide like dimethoid chlorpyrifos and thiodine you have to spray the insecticide for controlling this pest okay this is the control measure of this pest then next part that is the important diseases of soybean crop in that first this is is seed and seedling rot seed rot or seedling rot okay this this is mostly observed on seedling stage or after germination of the seeds uh, first is the uh, symptoms of this disease uh, this disease is caused by the number of fungi this is the fungal disease uh, the fungi likes uh, aspergillus flavus aspergillus niger and fusarium species this uh, the, uh, due to this fungi this disease is caused and due to this disease germination is affected to a great extent the infected leaves remain attached to the plants and fit of longitudinally split the stem is dark or chocolate brown and due to this disease the germination is affected of the seeds okay this is the seed rot and this is the seedling rot okay this is the symptoms of this disease this this is mostly observed in seedling stage of the plant okay Uh, the control measure of this disease is seed treatment with fungicides such as thyrum at the rate 4.5 g per kg of the seeds or uh, seeds are treated with thyrum at the rate 1.5 g per kg of the seeds uh, for controlling this disease or seed treatment or soil application of trichoderma viride okay this is the control measure of this disease then next disease that is the anthracnose it is also called as pod blight okay symptoms this disease is called caused by coleuterium species and affected plant shows the yellowing of leaves and later pod dry this disease is mostly observed in early stage or at flowering stage of the plant irregular brown or black color spots or lesions which are appears on the pods stems and petioles of the plants and after that leaves roll and exhibit necrosis of veins between the major veins and the infected seeds may fail to germinate the infected seeds of this plants are 
not germinated okay this is the symptoms of this disease and control measure use disease resistant varieties and still treatment with carboxin at the rate 0.2 percent or repeated spraying of diethen m45 have been found effective in controlling this disease okay this is the control measure of this disease then next this is that is the yellow mosaic okay this is the viral disease and transmitted by the insect the name of that insect is white flies this is the most serious and widespread viral disease of the soybean crop the affected plant shows the yellowing of leaves affected plants uh, leaves are yellowing in color in patches which increase in size infected seeds get mortal and fail to germinate or they produce disease just seedlings okay and the part are often stunted the infected plant are stunted and the seeds are not germinate or germinated seeds which produce the disease seedling and this disease is transmitted by the white fly okay from one plant to the another plant this is the symptoms of yellow mosaic disease of soybean crop okay and there are some pictures which shows the symptoms of yellow mosaic disease okay then next this is a uh, uh, control measure of yellow mosaic disease white flies may be controlled by repeated spray of insecticides till the crop of around 75 days from the sowing up to the 75 days repeated spray of the chemicals or insecticides for controlling this disease affected plant should be rug out or use disease resistant varieties or use regular spray of insecticide that is metasystox at the rate 0.1 percent for controlling this disease the next disease that is the rust this disease mostly observed in western maharashtra and vidarbha this disease is a serious disease of soybean crop this is caused by fungi that is phasphospora phosphorus and due to rust there is a reduction in soybean yield up to 50% due to this disease the yield of soybean is reduced up to 50% and uh, the symptoms of this disease is small brown to dark brown lesions appears on the lower surface of the leaf this is the lower surface of leaves small brown color spots or lesions which are appeared on the lower surface of the leaves the affected leaves fall down and in heavy infestation destroy most of the foliage in the heavy infection which destroy the foliage and leading to reduction in photosynthetic activity due to the drop down of uh, leaves the photosynthetic activity is reduced also yield of that crop is reduced okay this is the symptoms of rust disease then control measure summer plowing use certified seed for the sowing then use rust resistant varieties of crop spraying of diethen m45 at the rate 30 g per 10 liter of waters and three spraying of tilt at the rate 0.05% first spray should be given immediately at appearance of disease and two springs should be given at 15 days interval this is the control measure of this this is then next this is that is bacterial fissure okay this is the bacterial disease of soybean crop the symptoms of this disease is small yellowish green spot seen uh, image the small yellowish spots with reddish brown centers in the spots the centers are reddish dark brown which are appear on the surface of the leaves okay small red color spots and the uh, the center of the spot is reddish color and uh, uh, yellowish green spots with reddish brown centers are formed on the upper surface of the leaves 
small fissures are found on the underside of the leaves small color fissures also observed on the underside of the or inside of the leaves okay this is the symptoms of this this is control measure use this is resistant varieties of soybean crop then rogue out the infected plants collect eggs and larva sorry summer deep plowing and spraying of diethen m45 at the rate 30 gram per 10 liter of water this is the control measure of bacterial fissure okay this is the important pulse and diseases of the soybean crop okay thank you